Hi, I'm back. Boston Celtics finals going over there if you hear noise. Um, this is the French, my French, my uh, French dip sandwiches. I'm using turkey, so it's turkey dip and with the au jus, which is more of a steak sauce than an actual juice, but it's delicious. And I was gonna try something a little bit different with this recipe, so I'm videoing it again, um, in case you saw the other videos. Um, and so what I'm gonna do is start with a quart of beef stock, get that warming. Nice. That's uh, about a half cup of mushrooms. I have baby Bella's. And then I have a few sprigs of fresh herbs. So parsley, I put in some um, rosemary and a little bit of fresh thyme in there. So what I'm going to do is let that warm and get to a boil so that these flavors will infuse into my stock. What makes this a little bit different than an au jus and more of a steak sauce is that it's thickened. And it, I'm going to thicken it with arrowroot, which is um, it's a starch, like cornstarch. But I really like that. So this is a third of a cup of water. And I'm going to add, if we can get in there, five tablespoons of, of arrowroot. Which is probably a little more than a quarter cup. Since four tablespoons is a quarter cup. stir this while I get my um, stock boiling and then once it starts boiling we're gonna let it boil off and reduce and thicken for about 15 minutes. Okay this is still trying to come to a boil or a simmer. I'm going to add my secret ingredient which if you've watched me before you know this is my secret ingredient. This is like a dinner tablespoon and that's a huge heaping gob of it. And this is better than boiling out beef. I forgot to add this to the last recipe that I made, so that's why I'm videoing it again. But this is gonna give it an actual extra beefy, beefy, wonderful flavor. It's gonna be that extra little, hmm, what's that kind of compound when you make it? Okay, now it's boiling, so we're going to reduce the heat to low and let it cook uncovered for about 15 minutes. Okay, there it is. It's been about 15 minutes. So the next step is to take this arrowroot water just make sure it's stirred up again. And then pour it in here. What I'm going to do is... Other than put stuff away. And try to clean as I go. Um, I'm just going to stir this as it cooks for another 8 to 10 minutes. And really what I want this to do is to start thickening up. You know, it's like any other starch. As soon as it starts to boil and get hot, it's going to start to thicken up like a sauce more than not. Like thick. It's actually starting to thicken already. It's very pretty. Meanwhile, I have stuff going over here for a side dish. Okay, that's done. Now I'm going to strain it. Let's see if I can put this here to show you. In this bowl. Um, the straining is just going to take out the mushrooms and little herb particles. See how it just goes right through easily. You probably could just use the whole sauce, especially if you know it's not too clumpy lumpy. Now that is going to be the base for the rest of it. Okay, next step. I have dogs fighting, kids watching TV. So the next step is to take a half cup. It calls for Madeira wine. I don't have Madeira. I have white, uh, red wine. I'm going to put my wine. Now it also calls for about um, two tablespoons of truffle juice. 
and have a truffle juice. But I found this truffle spread, so I'm going to put about a tablespoon of that. I probably have to strain this in there too. Maybe there's about a tablespoon. And a few drops of truffle oil. Probably almost perfect. 
you try? You try? still taste the truffle, the wine, the mushrooms, very good. So I'm going to just turn this off the stove, get ready for the next step. Okay, so I'm over here like happily cooking and then I realized I haven't been videoing it. So what I took is some bread, this is brioche bread, and I put what, softened butter on both sides. Then on the inside I put, this is, last time I used apple jelly, this is pear jelly, and then a layer of cream cheese on top, and on the other side, a little bit of butter on the other side of what's going to be butter. Then, on the inside, I think this is two sandwiches you'd like to make. Then on the inside, I'm putting turkey. I said this was going to be a turkey dip. And provolone. You can use any meat, you can use any cheese. This is just what I happen to find that I thought would go together, that people would like. The only one that likes Swiss is William. Anyway, cover it up like this, and then I'm going to brown this on both sides here in a minute. Over here, I have some that are browning. Mm -hmm. See, I told you, I've been cooking. Mm -hmm. Happy. I have this view. Oh my gosh, look. Beautifully brown, crispy. That's Ashley's. Carmen. And this is Brandon's first sandwich. Brandon likes more than one. Okay, so I'm gonna let those brown on the other side and then we'll come back. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, there's Ashley's plate. She has her sauce and here's her sandwich. Um, I think these are done too. Okay, I'm going mm -hmm. to cut it diagonally. I'm take these off. She's gonna cut it diagonally and then we'll get a taste test. Meanwhile, I keep working on these. This is Brandon's. Brandon's. This is Brandon number two over here. We'll do that for a minute. Pour that a bit. Okay. You want your lids or that? Oh, yeah, okay. I'm with that. All right. Go like this. The sauce is amazing. Oh my god. And then the crispy bread. There's all of them. <laughs> so good. Good. Can we, we can try never it? go wrong with this? All right, we'll be back. I think that gives us a good look. Sandwich. There we go. Sandwich. Au jus. And here's my little salad. While the rest of the food is cooking, I'm going to take a quick bite. There's my, those are my layers. There's my au jus, which is like a steak sauce. Let's try it. Mmm. Mmm. Very good. Wow, that's delicious. Take another bite. Mm. Two thumbs up. Three thumbs up. 